Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Get Creative with Polami. Today we'll be doing a farmhouse watercolor painting. For that I'm using brushes, a very inexpensive 12 color set and very inexpensive watercolor drawing book. Let's start. I have tried to establish few watercolor treatment techniques for beginners. First, wash the sheet with water. For the sky, Put few drops of pigments of the colors you want your sky to be and let the water and paint take its own place. Technique 3 for the trees before putting in the details. First put green wash on the horizon when still the sky is wet. Friends, I know that my video quality or the light is not great because I record my videos from my phone. I wish to have my own studio someday with good lighting and overhead camera. And thank you so much for watching my channel and for new viewers. If you like my channel, please subscribe, share, like, hit the bell icon for future videos. Technique 4. Use a stiff brush. To do the detailings of the trees as beginners we struggle to paint trees so just put impressions on the trees and use a stiff brush Technique 5. Use a visiting card or cardboard or a credit card to swipe off the color to create branches or if you have rocky surface to give effects of the rock. Technique 6. To paint the ground, put paint and use a lot of water to spread the paint and use stiff brush to paint bushes or rocks. Technique 7. Leave some white space on the paper and avoid covering the entire painting with colors. You'll see me painting a lot of farmhouses, ranch houses with different mediums because I love doing farmhouses and also one big thing which I always follow is paint, paint and paint because practice makes you perfect. I have painted this farmhouse thrice to get a decent effect. And I also paint every day, be it for one hour or two hours or more. Technique 8. For buildings, roads or masonry work, mix ultramarine blue with a bit of burnt sienna or burnt umber 
to get a bluish black effect. Having said that, if you have a reference photo, please follow the building colors of the reference photo. Technique 9 Whatever you are painting, be it a human, animals, building, farmhouse, just use a bit of color and then use water to cover the rest of the painting. And the final technique would be whenever you are using hard edges, just put those hard edges in few places to highlight the painting. I'm not saying that these are the only rules but these are points I have created from my own experience and I hope that I have explained it well and if you follow these you will at least get a decent watercolor painting. Use gravity that means incline the paper towards yourself and let the watercolor flow towards the ground for a unique effect. Also try and sprinkle some watercolors on your paper, on the trees, on the ground to give a very watery effect. And I have just mentioned about the final or the tenth technique of creating hard edges. So put hard edges while drawing a post or trees, branches, corners of a building, animals or human beings. Otherwise, keep the painting very loose and watery. Hope you have enjoyed this painting a lot. Thanks for your time. Here's the final painting and if you like this farmhouse and like my channel, please subscribe, share, like, hit the bell icon for future videos. Stay at home, paint a lot and stay safe. Thank you.